Assalamu alaikum, I hope you're all doing great today. In this video, I want to give you the glad tidings of the raising up of Imam Mahdi. Whom Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has mentioned his appearance at the end of the time in the true prophetic teachings. His name is Nasser Muhammad al-Yemeni, and Nasser means supporter. In his name denotes his mission, as he has been sent to support Prophet Muhammad in the religion of Allah that he was sent with, which is Islam. He has started his call in 2005, and he doesn't follow any religious sect or party, meaning he's neither Sunni nor Shiite, but an inclining toward a truth Muslim. As Allah prohibited his servants to divide their faith into sects and parties, in line with the word of Allah the Exalted? Indeed you, O Prophet, are not responsible whatsoever for those who have divided their faith and split into sects. Their judgment rests only with Allah and He will inform them of what they used to do. Surah 6 verse 159 Moreover, He has been calling all of the scholars of different religions to have an open dialogue in his official website to prove to them that he is the real awaited Imam Mahdi through the proof of caliphate which is in the abundance of knowledge. In line with the word of Allah, and their prophet said to them, Indeed Allah has sent you Talut as a king. They said, How can he have kingship over us? While we are more worthy of kingship than him, and he has not been given any measure of wealth. He said, Indeed Allah has chosen him over you and has increased him abundantly in knowledge and stature. And Allah gives his sovereignty to whom he wills and Allah is all-encompassing in favor and knowing. Surah 2 verse 247 Also he is challenging all the religious scholars to come with a better clarification to the Quran and if anyone surpasses him in the knowledge of the Qur'an, it will prove him to be the false Imam Mahdi. And no one has dared to beat him in knowledge until this very moment. Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al-Yemeni isn't raised only for Muslims, but for all people with their different religions and beliefs. Just as Prophet Muhammad was. But the difference is that Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al-Yemeni isn't a prophet or a messenger as Prophet Muhammad is the seed of the Prophets. His mission is to lead Muslims back to the straight path of Allah which they have deviated from through casting the Quran behind their backs while holding firmly to the fabricated teachings that Satan managed to slip in the true prophetic teaching. Indeed, the Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al-Yemeni will purify them and will clarify which one is true and which one is fabricated and this process will be accomplished through the Quran because it is preserved from fabrication. Also his mission regarding non-Muslims is to judge between them in what they dispute about for extracting the judge of Allah from the Quran. Imam Nasir Muhammad al-Yemeni will show them and everybody the reality of Islam and that it does not urge us to shed blood, compel people to be Muslims, oppress women, and to spread terrorism. On the contrary, Islam calls for justice, peace, equality, grace, and peace. The Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al-Yemeni reveals the truth about every single matter from the Holy Quran and the true prophetic teachings that do not contradict the clear verses of the Quran. He clarifies and uncovers a lot of secrets from the Quran like the so-called coronavirus, the sign of the smoke, the true reason behind the happening of the unnatural disasters, the sign of the sun overtaking the moon, who are Gog and Magog, where do they live, and where is the barrier of Bukharnay, who is the Antichrist and where is he now, the details of the test of the Antichrist and how he plans against us. The true penalty of theft and fornication. The place in the number of the people of the cave and when is their second comeback. The first resurrection. The truth about planet X that will pass by the earth very soon. 
Who is Ar Raqib? The truth about the Dabba. And thousands of other magnificent secrets are written in different statements on his official website. You mustn't believe him to be the real awaited Imam Mahdi until the proof of caliphate and imamate is to be found in him. And since that proof is the abundance in knowledge, please take a look at some of his statements that I will leave their links in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.